Hey, what's up? It's Mr. J with Sign the Fly. Have you been looking for a way to reuse some of that tissue paper you've gotten from gifts or packages? Stay tuned to this episode and I may have a winner of an idea. Every year I have my students bring in a ton of tissue paper and we create hot air balloons. Hot air balloons is a really fun, hands-on approach to show a basic scientific principle that hot air rises and cool air sinks. Now hot air rises because it's essentially lighter than the cool air. It's less dense, meaning that it has less mass per unit of volume in the hot air compared to the cold air. Typical room temperature air weighs about 28 grams per cubic foot. And if you heat that air by 100 degrees, that cubic feet of air is going to weigh 7 grams less. Meaning that the cubic foot of air that's in that hot air balloon can compensate and lift 7 grams. Now, that's not very much, but that's exactly why real hot air balloons need to be so big. If you wanted to lift about 1,000 pounds, which is typical when you think about the passengers, the baskets, and the torch, you will need at least 65,000 cubic feet of air. That is crazy big. Today I'm going to show you how to make one out of tissue paper. Now don't freak out, it doesn't have to be that big because we're dealing with tissue paper and it's so light. Here's what you need. You're going to need nine pieces of tissue paper. Any size will do. You'll also need scissors, glue stick, a straight edge such as a yardstick or a meter stick, and you'll also need some form of heat source. I prefer using a hot air popcorn popper, but you can use something like a hair dryer as well. So there you go. Next time you have any leftover tissue paper, don't throw it away. Have some fun. Make a hot air balloon. This is Mr. J with Sign the Fly, the place where science makes sense. <laughs>